guys, thanks for tuning in again. My name is Xenad, and today we got yet another very special guitar from a very special brand named PJD Guitars, respectively the PJD Carry Elite in this gorgeous maple finish with this beautiful maple top. And just look at this beauty. If you haven't seen it, I've already done a video about another PJD guitar, namely the St. John model. And in that video, I'm gonna link it here or here somewhere, I specifically talk about what PJD is and what they stand for as a brand. But just to summarize for you guys, PJD is a brand made in England, York to be exact. And what their goal is, from what I've seen and from what I've felt playing these guitars, is they want to build the best guitars that they can. And they're trying to source everything, every part from of the guitar from England. So for example, the pickups here are bare knuckle pickups that are made in England. And the woods, they try to source them from England as well. But some things that they can't, they get them from Japan. For example, the tuners and the bridge are from Goto Japan, which are technically the best bridges you can get out there. As mentioned, their goal is to make the best guitars that they can. And I'm not saying that they're close to it, but I'm saying that they did it. This guitar is just perfect. If I had to only pick one guitar to play for the rest of my life and actually be happy with it and have it do everything that it needs to do, I would 100% without a shadow of doubt pick this guitar. Not just because it's a PJD and I like the brand and what they stand for, but the thing is, it sounds great, it feels great, and with these pickups with low wound humbuckers, it just does everything I need it to do. I have to say, in my honest opinion, PJD have cracked the code when it comes to building the perfect guitar for having that perfect recipe. Now I'm gonna elaborate on that a little bit later, but I also want to let you know that the backing track that you just heard in the beginning is available as a Google Drive link as always. And also, I, I'm still running the 50% off coupon from True Fire, from my friends at True Fire, uh, that you can find in the description down below. You can get 50% off for any lessons that you choose to buy or any um, subscriptions that you want to, to purchase. So let me know what kind of courses you're looking at. It will be really interesting to see what you guys are learning because honestly, I'm in a rut and I need something inspiring for, for me to check out. So if you do that, that would be awesome. Now let me elaborate on the fact that I said that PJD have cracked the code when it comes to building an electric guitar. Now me personally, I'm a fan of Les Pauls, I'm a fan of hollow bodies, uh, semi-hollows like an ES-335, Telecasters, I love them, and I also used to be a really passionate strap player until I discovered the Telecaster, but that's a different story. So what PJD guitars have actually done with the carry is they took all the best attributes from all of those guitars that I mentioned and put them into one beautiful instrument. Now, as we can see, the body is a single cut design with two humbuckers, very reminiscent of a Les Paul, which again is one of my favorite guitar models ever. And then we have this bridge right here, which is a hardtail bridge and a string through design, which reminds us a little bit of the Telecaster. Now, the other thing that is reminiscent of a uh, Fender design is the scale length. One thing that I've always loved about the Fender scale length is the fact that it has more tension and it gives you more room to play since it's longer than a Gibson scale length. And then your chords are gonna sound way more in tune and way more pronounced, and way more clearer. So every note is gonna you're, gonna, you're gonna hear every note separately. Now, I also dig the Gibson scale length. It gives you another feel when you're playing the guitar. But all of a sudden, since the scale length is shorter, you're gonna have a, a, a harder time keeping chords in tune because it's everything is crammed up. But with a Fender scale length, everything just opens up and you have way more possibilities, even to intonate your guitar properly. So I would always, always prefer a Fender scale length before a regular Gibson scale length. Now with that being said, I'm not always a fan of single coil pickups. Now P90s, that's a different story, but I would always prefer a neck humbucker, for example. And not just any neck humbucker, I, I really like the low wound stuff and the more vintage voiced pickups like this one. It's clearer, it has this airy quality to it, and it doesn't have a lot of low end. And that in combination with the Fender scale length just works perfectly. And that's why I said in the beginning that PJD have basically cracked the code when it comes to building an electric guitar, because this is all I've ever wanted from an electric guitar, to be honest. So yeah, kudos to PJD. You guys have done an awesome job with this. 
it's not just pickups and scale length that make this guitar incredible. There are a lot of things that I want to tell you about it. So without further ado, let's start talking about the specs. And after that, we're going to listen to all three positions, dirty and clean and everything in between. Ooh, that rhymed. But uh, yeah, starting from the headstock, it's a really, really familiar design. And the six in line tuners, the vintage tuners that are really, really easy to change the strings. It just works. I mean, there's nothing to complain there. And as said before, the tuners here are Goto tuners made in Japan. The nut right here is a bone nut and it's got beautifully. The chords down here just sound awesome and they sing and they're in tune and there's nothing in between that, that could stop that from, from happening. Now going down, we have the fretboard, which is a rosewood fretboard. Now, uh, PJD gives you the option to choose between a maple fretboard and a rosewood fretboard. And I think this one looks incredible when it comes to combining it with the natural finish. I think it's a better choice to have rosewood in this case. It feels awesome, it sounds great, and just responds to your playing really well. And I always thought that I would always wanted a roasted maple fretboard for a PJD guitar, but I, I think I'm changing my mind because it just this one just feels great. When it comes to the frets, we have medium jumbo frets. They're really well polished. Uh, the fretboard itself is also rounded and so are the uh, fret ends. It, they're polished really well and there's no hiccups when it comes to, to bending on this guitar, which also reminds me that the radius of this guitar is a compound radius from 10 to 12. And that makes it a really, really comfortable guitar to play. The action is as low as it can get. I don't know how, how it's not buzzing all over the place, but it's just perfect for, for my taste. And yeah, no complaints there. I mean, it's, it's just perfect. Now the neck here is a roasted maple neck, quarter sawn, and it has this great satin finish feel to it, which I think is just perfect. And it just plays wonderfully. Uh, the shape of it is a C shape, and it's, I would say a regular C shape. It's not uh, too thick, and it's actually more on the thinner side, which is surprising because I really like it. And I always thought that I, I would like uh, thicker necks, but this one, just, I mean, it feels like home when you grab it and play it, and I think it's just perfect. And yeah, I'm gonna say perfect a lot in this video because basically the guitar is perfect and that would be the adjective of choice that I would use to describe this guitar. But yeah, I mean, yeah, sorry, deal with it. Now, uh, the body here, I mean, how can you not say perfect about this maple top here? I mean, just look at it. It's just gorgeous, it's flamey, wavy, and it's radical looking, but then it's also really classy and it doesn't it doesn't offend anybody, at least I hope so. And I mean, there's nothing bad that I would say about this top. It has some discoloration going on here. I don't know why that is happening, but I like it. And just the flame, as I said, is, is beautiful. Oh, and by the way, the top is not a veneer. It's an actual flame maple top that, that is very thick. The sides and back are Swamp Ash, I believe. Uh, please correct me, PJD, if I'm wrong, but the grain seems to seems to say that it's a Swamp Ash. I mean, look at the details here. They got a piece of that of that maple top and made a, a cavity cover for both uh, the controls here and for the switch here. I mean, you're gonna have to pay a premium for that detail. It's just beautiful. The bridge, as I mentioned before, is a Goto made in Japan bridge with six individual saddles that you can adjust the intonation and the action. Now, look-wise and tone-wise, I would actually prefer a uh, telecast, like a cut telecaster bridge with three saddles. I think it just looks classy and it gives you, if, especially if you have the titanium saddles, it gives you a really nice tone to it. So I would love to see PJD doing something uh, like that in the future with uh, with the bridge that I just mentioned. But this sounds amazing, it works and looks perfectly fine. So uh, it's not something that I would necessarily change, but it would be really interesting to see a PGD with that, you know, with that bridge set up. And finally, the pickups are bare knuckle pickups, old guard set. If you want a different kind of pickup, they also offer cream tees. So you can have the option to choose between uh, bare knuckles and queen tees, which are actually also made in England. So a couple of minutes ago, I was raving about how this guitar has all the attributes that I like from classic designs, and I also mentioned the ES335 model. Now, at first glance, you would think that this has nothing to do with the 335, but you would be mistaken because the sides of this guitar are actually hollow, 
making this guitar a semi-hollow design with a block going down, a solid block going down the middle. So this is solid, this is hollow. Now what that gives you is this really nice airy quality to your tone and to your notes and it just gives you that resonance that you would get from a semi-hollow guitar and actually you can choose for the guitar to have an f-hole or not when you order it from the PJD website. Alright so that's gonna be about it when it comes to specs. Now as promised we're gonna listen to this guitar through my HX Tom XL and through the Litigator amp which is a Dumble style amp. I also wanted to give you some room tones with the camera audio here. I also wanted to further elaborate on the fact that I said that the Fender scale length and this guitar specifically works perfect for chords and it just makes them sing and you can keep them in tune fairly well. Now I'm plugged through a very very special amp. Man, words cannot describe how awesome that amp is. But I'm gonna have a video on it very soon and you're just gonna love it. Now I'm also plugged through my pedal board which only the reverb is engaged, the New X Atlantic reverb. Now as, as I said, the chords on this guitar just sound very much in tune. Let's listen to this. So let's listen to it through the HX stomp and then we're going to end the video. with that I hope you enjoyed the tones and I hope you enjoyed the video I've had this guitar for a couple of weeks now and uh, unfortunately I do have to give it back but I really don't want to because I think this guitar is just built for me I mean I love everything about it but it was really fun having it for the couple of weeks that I did and I'm really really grateful for Jens from PJD for sending it over it's just it's always a pleasure to play these guitars and I'm, I'm really lucky to be able to play these and yeah, it's all thanks to you for subscribing, for liking these videos, and if you haven't already, please uh, do consider to subscribe, like, and comment under this video because that really helps me a lot. Now, with that all out of the way, I'm just going to catch you with another video. I have a lot coming. 
uh, very soon. Stay tuned for that. And until then, see you again. Have a good one. Bye-bye.